Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Yes, I still exist, and today I am in the Chinese WMA301, and this insanely hot start to the video is something that even I kind of failed to remember when the last time it happened. Uh, it's been thousands of battles since the last time I had such a hot kickstart. So, using the speed of the wheels to go forward and hope for the best, it didn't uh, really like the map to begin with because it got it already, I guess, three times in a row. So I intended to do a little bit of a suicide trick and then move on to the next battle. And uh, you can see how the... Um, yeah, how the stabilizer wobbles all over the place. I drop an artillery strike on B, come screaming around the corner, the shot does no damage, kill the light tank, and then move on. I do not see the BMP-3 in the smoke, but I know that around that corner are potentially some more enemies. And as fast as we were before, we are really that slow, but that allows me to third-person aim for that BMP-3, and then also an artillery strike comes down, and together with this, I have a quadruple kill in just under two minutes. BAM! <laughs> That alone would make for a fantastic shorts video. Yeah, sadly I didn't record it, typical, and I had to spool up the replay. Looking around the corner, uh, I just want to clear this area. I see two enemies arrive, and uh, yeah, apparently sound design now works again, and this guy hurt my idling engine. BMP3 tries his luck with his auto cannon, but I was just angled right with my non existing armor, smoke up, and change the direction. The CV9105 gets my wheel, but then, actually, for a change, a teammate is useful, kills the gunner, and I kill it again just for good measure, and then finish off with a machine gun. Six kills, just like that. That's. that's fantastic! Believe it or not, that was <clears throat> almost fun. <laughs> I have one Chinese tank left to grind and that is quite a headache. Um, and I hear this typical roaring of the new STRV 103 engine sound. So there is that. And obviously I want to get the hell out of there, so this road is cleared. I have no intention of actual spawn camping. And um, yeah, look at my team, they are just steamrolling the enemy. We'll see more of this in just a moment, you know, because my team wants to win harder. So, oh, that was smart. He tried to lure me in front of his four second autoloader, and uh, I'm not falling for that trick. I scouted him, an artillery strike on him, and uh, I just hope for him to do something stupid because this will be a Mexican standoff and instead. In fact, he charges me, so I take his transmission, and then he suffers the Swedish medium tank experience. <laughs> Sucks to be you. And I have time to think, so I take his gun, and um, there is nothing that he can do. He burns up quite nicely. And then we come to the negative part of this tank, the Chinese Premium. Only 4 degrees of gun depression, and it wobbles quite a lot. That's disgusting. Watch this. Yeah, didn't do anything. Um, but it seems like he was a prim, uh, he was a free-to-play noob, so he didn't have the Golden Eagle skills to buy himself the uh, parts and FPE skill. We exchange here shots with this guy, and uh, I have him. And with a jammed turret, I out traverse him, and then the replay freezes. Thank you, Gaijin, and we get kill number eight. That's just fantastic. And I did it with a champ turret ring. That that was also just the cherry on top of this fantastic cake. Um, so they capture B. And yeah. I want to get the hell out of there. They're after me. I know this. MX-30. Oh, this is just too sweet of an opportunity to miss it up. Reversing, shooting, kill number nine. That was just delicious. I cannot tell you what I felt at this moment when stuff actually works in War Thunder. Imagine having this every battle. It would be awesome. Best game ever. But then Gaijin exists and I guess that they will patch this fun thing with the next update. 
Anyway, so my spider senses were tingling and yeah, I took this corner rather sharply by sacrificing also this building. And my plan was simple. Get the turret ring online again. My initial plan was to go to C to get the smoke, ammunition, the turret ring and the crew back. Because I'm down to only two crew members. I turn off the engine here and immediately you can hear some several uh, yeah, sound sources around me. Let's talk quickly about this thing. It's, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. In a town tier it's absolutely filthy. The ammunition types are various and um, this is great. Proximity fuse shells, always nice. Uh, tandem. ATGM, fantastic. APFSDS, laser rangefinder, thermal imaging, stabilizer, wheels when there is a paved road, it's unlimited speed. But only four degrees of gun depression and uh, you get close quarters maps all the time. That sucks. But thanks to the artillery strikes and the plane flying overhead, it masked then me having my engine running again. And that is my double ace in seven minutes. That's just... That's just unbelievable. And again, I turn off the engine in just a moment. And sadly, this is not shown in the replay because I hear again another tank. And now look where my team has vanished. They've just gone poof. And the enemy team has all three caps. And then I make this mistake. Yep. And that's me dead. I committed to die by enemy and unsurprisingly we lost by quite a bit because there were only two teammates remaining whereas then still two-thirds of the enemy team were remaining now why did I not upload more of those fantastic battles well first of all they do not really happen that often and are ri quite rare but then the usual outcome of a battle is like that obviously I recorded that one I go into the cap, I used my speed, and I wanted to just cap. Artillery strike is on me, and I think, yeah, I, I cap before the RT is coming uh, down, right? So, I want to cap, then get the smoke, but the first artillery shell to land. Can you believe that? Ah, oh, this scene. Oh yeah, fantastic. You know, I wanted to show the speed of this thing uh, on a paved road or when you have good solid ground to drive on. And um, yeah, I scouted here the BMP-1 and then also execute him with first strike. That's fantastic. And now watch this. I scout this guy, but it seems like he has scouted me as well. Why do you think that artillery strike is coming down? Okay, it's from that guy. And um, I guess the enemy team is not really coordinated, right? Like my team usually. Dropped an RT strike um, on this small route. And then another artillery strike is coming down. And I think to myself, I've learned my lessons from artillery strikes lately. So I get the hell out of there. Now watch the following scene. This has happened to me on a frighteningly frequent basis lately. Enemy comes. I take his gun breach and uh, obviously scout him and then no that's just happening too often lately oh a problem that Gaijin hasn't fixed since the close beta they spawn tanks in your way that's just yeah but then what nearly made me quit war thunder was this battle So I know that I am a fairly aggressive player and I am rather impatient lately, especially on those close quarters maps. Just can't stand them. So I try to get the most out of them and then uh, yeah, do the map lottery again, just to end up on the same map three times in a row because duh. Anyway, so there is something called B and I want this. And the funny thing about the way that I am capping B is there are two ways. First, you can hide behind the church and have then one shot from cover. 
or you go all in and appear in a place where the enemy is not expecting it. And that is being here in the open. That actually works more often than you think. This guy did not expect me. So that's a free kill. I smoke up. And then just cap. Now here's a problem if you look at the minimap. I'm the far foremost frontline tank. The majority, almost the entirety of my team has gone to C. And there are big gaps in our front line. While I kill this guy, I then got killed from behind. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Subscribe and like the video.